Hey everybody, this is Captain Frugal here reporting for duty, and today I'm going to be reviewing none other than the Testmark 2 KVM switch. We're going to check it out, see what it comes with, and make sure it works really good just like it's supposed to. So I hope you sit back and enjoy the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we have the TestMart box here. We also have the website in case you want to look up additional information or have any issues, you can always contact the company and get additional information. Now let's open this thing up and see what's inside. All right, after opening up the box, it comes with all these items that you see here. You're going to get the power supply here, the own power brick, which is nice because, you know, nowadays we seem to have a lot of companies will ship something without the power supply. So you get that power brick there. That's wonderful. You're going to get a user manual. And I know a lot of times you can look this stuff up online nowadays, but I still always appreciate a quality user manual with good instructions. And I always love it when they give a good panel description and things like this has, letting you know what everything does. Because maybe you're new to this stuff and you need to know how to connect it. Well, this is going to show you exactly how to do it. Wonderful. I love to see that as well as how to use it. Keep the uh, shortcut hotkeys which is nice when they provide all the information right in a book because yeah we know you can look this up online once again a good book is helpful to have at all times and this has the remote control as well so let's take a look at that all right so as you see here here's the remote control that comes with some plastic it's not a real big it's got a couple buttons there m one three two four p there we go remote control small but you know how big do you need this controller really to be right I'm going to get to that in just a moment, but it also comes with two packs of cables. This is HDMI plus USB cable, 1.5 meters, and you get two of those. So you're going to get not just one, they provide you with two. And you know what, this is a pretty darn good quality cable too. They're pretty thick. And here we go, the actual item itself. So here's the front of it. Here you can see you got your on-off power switch, if you will. This is going to give you your selector. See there, and then your mode, if you're using your remote, you can see that it's probably going to light up left and right out. That's great. Now here's where you're going to be making all your connections, your power supply. This is going to be your output to your HDMI monitor. Here's a USB 2.0. Now this is great. you got your mouse and keyboard because that way you can plug the mouse and keyboard in here and utilize this and program it. That way when you switch to another computer, it's going to still use the same mouse and keyboard. I love that feature with these kinds of things. It's always helpful. You also have an input 2. You have a USB 2, an input 1, and a USB 1. So you have two USBs and two other HDMI inputs. So, you know, you could even use this for switching for video games or computers. So you have a lot of options that you can switch to. So you could switch different video game systems to different TVs. Probably really handy uh, for recording gameplay footage and things like that really you have a lot of options and it's still pretty sturdy it's got metal casting it's not all plastic it's got some good weight to it I always like that when there's something's built well you can see here they're screwed in with the metal plate over this has got a thicker covering it but it'll have a screw there we got metal plate here we are test mark kvm switch hdmi 4k 60 hertz or four high uh, definition multimedia interface. Well, I'm really looking forward to trying this out. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this button and switch it over. And there you have it, as you see, it switches right over to the next object that you're using. All right, guys, the next feature I wanna show you is the hotkey feature. So notice I have my mouse and keyboard plugged in now, as well as both outputs for my computers, all through one box. Now to do that we're going to just look at here at the instructions it tells you exactly what to do. We're going to hit the scroll lock and then scroll lock again and select the previous input port. Now before I do that I'm not a big fan of beeping and things so I'm going to in, I'm going to disable the buzzer sound because you can make it so it's going to give you a little buzz to let you know what works but I'm going to hit scroll lock scroll lock F11 to get rid of that because I like my I don't want the buzz I just wanted a quick signal flow. 
All right, guys. Now remember, I'm using a different keyboard with my laptop because I have the keyboard hooked to the bolt. So I'm going to switch from this monitor and everything working there to my other monitor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my keyboard and we're going to hit the button combination to switch it over. All right, so here's my keyboard. What I'm going to do is switch it to the other monitor. I'm going to do that by hitting the scroll lock once, twice, and in this case, I'm going to hit page down because that's the way it should go, and it should put Reaper on my other monitor. Up, oh, and there it is. The same program is now displayed on my other monitor. So as you see, these hotkeys are really awesome. Now, once again, if you want the beeps and stuff, you can change that. You can enable the beeps just as the instructions say. Just turn it back on by scroll lock, scroll lock, F11. But I like the beeps. I like a quick, fast transfer. There's also other things that you can do with that. But so there you go. Same keyboard setup by using all that hooked on there. Transfer everything from one screen, boom, shoot it right to the other, making everything really nice with those hotkeys. All right, guys, I want to take some time to mention the pros and cons of this unit. That way you're very well informed. And once again, these opinions are my own. So first I want to mention that this unit seems built really sturdy. I like the build quality. I don't see any issues with this. I'm looking forward to hooking it up in my studio and not worrying that it's going to break. Another thing I like about it is it came with the components that you need to use it. There's nothing like getting a product nowadays that doesn't come with a power brick because it expects you to automatically have a foam brick that's going to work with everything. Well, you don't have that problem here. It has everything, including the cords that you're going to need to be able to hook it up. It does have a great quick speed switching over the 4K quality. I didn't notice any drop in quality in the picture and the image. I really liked what I seen. I also tested it with my keyboard, had no issue with the swapping, so I could use the same keyboard for two different uh, computer applications. Once again, I only hooked it up temporarily to this computer. It's actually going to be up in my studio to switch between digital audio workspaces. Now, that said, all those good things about it, there is one negative I have, and maybe this was just a, uh, an oversight, but my remote did not come with a battery in it. Now, that might not be a big deal if it's like a AAA or something, but this takes like a watch style of battery. My did not have it in there. I checked the whole box. I did not see the battery. It might come with the battery, I'm not sure, but mine did not. So I was not able to use the remote right out of the box. That's why you see me actually manually switch it rather than using the remote because I still don't have the battery. So I couldn't test it with that yet at this point. So once again, that's my only knock on it. And the price might be seem to be a little high, but you know what? This thing is built really well. So that I think makes up for it. But for that price, I would like to see the battery come with it. Once again, that might have just been an oversight. Well, there you guys have it. The Testmark 2 KVM switch, as you see there, you can get this for $105 on Amazon.com. It's a really interesting, nice device to use. It's great if you're going to be switching between two different computers, uh, two different video game sources. It gives you a lot of options. It's very high quality, 4K output. Definitely worth checking out if you're interested in a device like that. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, keep it frugal.